beautiful ladies and thank you for tuning in to yet another haul. Today I'm coming at you with a PLT lounge haul. Hopefully I'll find some bits I really like. I told myself I needed to place the order. I didn't have enough loungewear but let's be honest it's just an excuse. I thought we could try it on together, decide whether we like it, assess whether we made good life choices. If you can see Dennis's body parts in this section here then really sorry about that but as you know if you've been watching my videos he always does like to make an appearance. Also, just quickly, if you're new here and you have recently subscribed, thank you so much for joining me on my little journey to 1K. It means a lot and I really love reading your messages. Okay, so I did actually get all of these bits at 20% off because who buys something from Pretty Little Thing at full price these days? So these I picked up in a size medium and they're called the Oatmeal Ribbed Knitted Flare Trousers. Now I'm looking at these and they honestly, don't actually look like they would fit a human body. Look how, look at those, honestly. Now they are crazy long and I really like that in trousers, especially with like Pretty Little Thing and Zara. I do find that the longer the better because I am quite tall. So I know some people will be like, what the hell is that, is it a scarf? Can I carry on filming my video? Or is it the Dennis show? Is it the Dennis show? You know, I picked up the trousers to go with the top and the top's called Oatmeal Ribbed Knitted Long Sleeve Cardigan. Again, I got it in a size medium. Now, if you click this thumbnail, you would have already noticed I've tried this on. Now, I will say I should have got this in a small because look how stretchy this is. It's actually crazy. I love this. It's right up my street, you know. It's my colour. Okay, so this is the set on. Now, as you can see, it is doing that gapey thing. And I don't know why, because this is crazy stretchy and I definitely could have still got away with a small. So that is a little bit off-putting because if that was just normal, I would absolutely love this top. But the other thing I will say about it is it's got this weird V. It aligns perfectly with that area. So I don't really like that either. I probably have to tuck it under or even wear it open. It looks better, I think, when it's a bit like that. I don't know. But yeah, the trousers are crazy tight and also really see-through. So I'm gonna put my hand there a second while I show you, but you can clearly see every little contour of my body. Next thing I picked up was this bodysuit. Now I picked this up in a size 10 and it's called the Chocolate Crew Neck Long Sleeve Bodysuit. And it is really nice and soft. Now I did pick this up to wear with these jogging bottoms. Now I will show you in the try on clip in a second, but just excuse the 50 shades of chocolate right now, but this definitely isn't the same chocolate color as the bottoms. But I will show you this in the try on clip now with the joggers on because hopefully it's not too noticeable. Next up, we've got my little brown ensemble. Now, as you can clearly see, the bodysuit is very see-through. I'm wearing a nude bra on underneath and you can see everything. So that's a bit of a shame. Even with that said, I do actually think it fits really nicely and I do like this. I do think together you can't really tell the difference in the browns. These joggers, I should have got a bit bigger. These are a 12, but I just like them baggier than what these ones are and they don't have any pockets. So I know I went for the cheaper alternative with the jogging bottoms, but does that mean I can't have pockets? Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? This next thing I'm about to show you, I don't yet know if I love it or hate it. It's one of those kind of weird trends. I have noticed them coming down into Zara quite a lot and it's this. So this is called the Cream Super Crop Knitted Sleeve in Medium. Now, when I showed this to my partner, he was like, where's the rest of it? And he was like, well, why don't you just cut off one of your old jumpers and do this to it? And I did think to myself, it's actually quite a good idea, but... I'm gonna try this on. Let me know what you think below and whether this is a no likey, no lighty situation because I really don't know about this. I think it could look quite cute, but we will see. Let's have a look. Oh my God, don't get any makeup on this. Don't get any makeup on this. The struggle is real. So what I will say about this is I've just tried for the last 10 to 15 minutes to put this thing over my head. It felt like the wrong neck was giving birth to the top of my head. Honestly, this thing was crazy tight on. I don't know why is my head that big? How do we feel about this? Because I'm actually enjoying this, you know? I feel like if I put this on with the right top, yeah. I would like it to be more oversized though, that's what I would say. Maybe I'm gonna send this one back and have a look at the Zara ones. I feel like the sleeves on theirs are quite baggy as well. 
I do actually like this more than I thought I would. I'm actually surprised how much I'm enjoying this. It was just honestly the biggest battle getting this over my head. When I said this was hard to get on, I was not lying. I've just spent about 10 minutes trying to get this thing off my head. And I thought I'd just show you literally, look at how much hair I've lost, just trying to yank this off my head. This was nearly an A&E jobby. Clearly I've got issues with getting ribbed trousers, but I picked up another pair. And these ones are called the Stone Stirrup Ribbed Knitted Leggings in a medium. Now these ones have that, what I call, horse riding leg at the bottom. And these are such a nice colour. I do have a similar set actually. They remind me very much of the Zara ones. These, I couldn't find a matching top, which I thought was a little bit annoying because that's going to be quite difficult to try and match. I know I could wear creams and, you know, other colours with it, but in terms of like matching the exact shade, I think that might be quite difficult. Just to show you in comparison to the other leggings that I showed you earlier, that's kind of the colour difference. So obviously these are a lot lighter. I'd say these are definitely more like oatmeal and these are more stony slash khaki in colour. So I'll show you what these look like on now and hopefully they look a bit nicer than those ones. I've got the ribbed leggings on and what I will say is these feel really flattering on. I think you can actually see the lines of my bodysuit. But obviously if I wear a lighter colour, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I think I'm going to keep these, you know, which I'm quite surprised about because I don't know how I feel about the bottom of them. The waistband on these is definitely really nice and thick, so it does feel like it's holding me in quite a lot, which is really nice. This next thing is going to be a big, fat, huge fail, but I'm going to show you anyway because you know we're all friends on this channel. This is a jumpsuit. Now, I picked this up in a size 10 and it's called the khaki basic strappy plunge jumpsuit i have actually had some of the other cheaper jumpsuits from pretty little thing and they have actually been really nice but they're more of a ribbed fabric but for lounging around the house you can't really grumble with this i think the price point was really cheap as well so really affordable okay so where do we start with this because this looks awful but comfort factor it gets a 10. This has actually got really long straps as well so I can see my bra keeps showing on camera so sorry if you're getting an absolute eyeful right now but I just really don't like the look of this. It's such a shame as well because the comfort of this oh my god. We're just going to ignore the little chicken legs that have just appeared in shot. Next thing I'm going to show you is again another G.I. Joe situation and this is another jumpsuit I picked this up in a size 10 and this, if I remember rightly, was about £3 in the sale and I did think to myself, £3 for a jumpsuit, like what is that going to even look like? Is it going to be a rag? But actually I'm more impressed with this than I am the other one. How much nicer is this one? I just prefer the neckline of this, I think the material's nicer, it's tighter, it does have this piece of ribbed band in here which kind of gives you a little bit of a waist and you can play with the material a little bit. So I do think this one is a little bit more flattering, although again, I don't think I would wear this out the house and I definitely don't think I'm gonna keep this. But the back's quite low too, so I do quite like the back. Excuse the non-fake tanned back. The next thing I'm about to show you is probably the most exciting bit of the haul for me. When I took these out of the packaging, I was so happy and I've had a lot of orders from Pretty Little Thing over my time. These are called the Rust Wide Leg Knitted Trousers and I got these in a medium. They're super long, super wide leg. I do think they're going to fit me. I am a little bit concerned that they're going to highlight my spare tyre, but we will see. But honestly, this is my favourite purchase so far of 2021. That's a statement. Now we're on to my favourite piece of the whole haul. Now I love these trousers. I'm definitely not disappointed after putting them on. The only thing I would say about these is I wish they were just a tad longer. I'm going to go back and check to see whether they do these in the tall range. But how nice are the colour of these? Last thing I picked up. Now if you've seen my other Pretty Little Thing hauls, I'll leave the link below if you haven't. I did pick this jumper up. Now I got it in a petite because they didn't actually have my size. And I think I bought it in a 14 if I remember rightly. I did think it didn't have enough length. Now this came back in stock which is the original colour I wanted. So this one's called the Cream Buffalo New York Slogan Sweat Jumper Dress. My god what a name. And this I picked up in a size 10. Now this isn't from the petite section so I'm hoping this is going to be long enough but if you've watched my other video you'll know I absolutely loved that jumper. I could definitely see myself wearing this through lockdown 3.0 in this on my sofa. Give me some snacks. 
and really love how the writing comes down a bit lower onto the sleeves. Is this borderline bag lady sack of spuds? Maybe I should have got an eight. It did say oversized in the description. Maybe I should have got an eight. What do you guys think? Do you think this is far too big? This is what the back looks like. This is what the writing looks like, panned out. But I do love this. I think you could wear this around the house. You could wear this to the supermarket. I mean, let's be honest, that's the only two places I'm going. You could wear this on a dog walk. So that concludes all of the bits I got from PLT. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've managed to get this far, smash me a thumbs up if you're really enjoying my content. Also, if you could help me on my journey to 1K, I'd really appreciate it by subscribing to my channel. Have a lovely day and I'll see you guys again soon.